color film from the collection used in making the wartime documentary Memphis Bell brings 8th Air Force 1943 B-17 activity to life. Some of the shots look to be from May and even June 1943, as the Memphis Bell and crew prepared to fly back to the U.S. for a morale tour of the states. A visit from the King and Queen of England to the Memphis Belle and her crew came in May. B-roll of B-17s overhead is followed by scenes of a flop-eared mascot dog atop the nose of another B-17F, festooned with 26 mission symbols. Later scenes depict barbed wire and quaint green fields where the 8th Air Force parked its fortresses. Some buzz job scenes were staged for the documentary film to capture the celebratory essence of the end of combat and the return to the states of the Memphis Bell.
and in the mashup of rolls and rolls of film. The end of this video shows the crew with their bomber as Army and Army Air Forces brass pay a visit on 9 June 1943 in England. Lieutenant General Jacob L. Devers, U.S. Army Commander in Europe, is seen in a stiff wheel hat while many of the Army Air Forces officers wear their hats with the ring grommet removed, giving the soft look that better accommodated headphones and was, of course, a symbol of pride among aviators. We are indebted to Harry Friedman and Graham Simons for their detailed chronicling of the Memphis Bell in the 2008 book, Memphis Bell, Dispelling the Myths. I'm Fred Johnson for the Air Rail Images channel. Thank you for watching and thanks for subscribing to our channel.